Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. I'm Austin. I'm the Bourbon Santa. At least that's what some people call me. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm a little uh, in my feels today. Just a little in my feels. So this is Willet Bourbon. You can see by the purpley toppy. But this is the 15 year Willet Bourbon. And this is courtesy of Shelby at Inlet Harbor Liquors. He said, uh, I know you did a bunch of unicorns. Do you want to do one more? And I was like, say less. So he hooked me up with this and I'm going to review it for you guys. So let's do this. I wanted to uh, wait and open it on camera so that I would get my immediate initial reaction to this bourbon and see what we think of it. Let's do the thing. So this is 118.2 proof. This is a single barrel from barrel 1217. It is a 15 year Willet uh, bourbon and it's bottle 99 of 121. So I just want to dive right into this because this is the oldest. I have had Purple Top before. It's been a while. Um, I, I don't even remember how old that one was. I cannot remember. I'll have to go back and look through my pictures from forever ago and, and see how old it was. I can't remember. I do know that I enjoyed it enough that it's gone. So I'm expecting to enjoy this. So let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's, see. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <sighs> oh, okay. 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 Marshmallow fluff. Like the spreadable marshmallow fluff. There's a little bit of citrus hanging out. There's a really nice amount of brown sugar, caramel, molasses, like a mixture of all of those. Just rich, sweet, dark, decadent hanging out. Getting a little blueberry. Yeah. There's almost a banana note, but it's not like a whole banana note. It's like little little pieces of the banana note and butter like you sauteed your banana and some butter in a skillet there is a slight hint of nuttiness this is a, it's an incredibly enjoyable nose there's nothing sharp, there's nothing uninteresting, there's nothing aggressive, there's nothing that's like stabbing you in the face or in the sinuses, even at 118 proof. It doesn't nose like 118 proof. It noses lower, way calm, super inviting, monster legs. It's starting to lean a little more chocolate now Let's let's get it dizzy a little bit and see what what happens. Oh yeah, the citrus is coming out more. It's turning almost like mandarin orange, and and there's a chocolatey note there that's becoming more and more apparent. Uh, almost brownie batter, but not quite brownie batter. The rise there singing in the background, just doing a little solo in the background. Wah, 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 wah. You know, just singing over there, just in the background, you know. A hint of bubblegum, like bubblicious. Okay, I'm tasting it, I'm going. Oh, oh, that's very nice. 
The citrus follows through in the palate. The palate's also spicier than the nose. Uh, decent amount of chest hug. The 118 proof shows up on the palate, but still, it's not aggressive, it's not harsh. That's a friggin' drinker. That's a drinker right there. A hint of peanut butter. The, the slight nuttiness from the nose comes through as peanut butter on the palate. Not like Booker's peanut butter or you know stuff that's that's really peanut butter forward. It's just like hints. It's like all natural peanut butter with all of the oil on top that you have to stir in. It's like raw peanut butter with just a little salt. Or like you go to those health food stores and you can grind your own peanut butter on the little machine there. I don't really like that stuff in reality, but the thought of it, the smell of it is, is good, but then it's just too grainy. And this of course being a liquid isn't grainy. So it tastes like it without the mouthfeel. So it's wonderful. The rye is more and more apparent on the nose after tasting it. Oh, that is a drinker. That is so easy to drink. Wow, the legs are just outrageous. I enjoy the nose more than the palate. The nose is unbelievable out of this world. The palate's delicious, but just the nose is, is just outshining it big time. Oh, man, that drink's nice. Wow, holy crap. Unbelievable. It's uh, There's no wonder why these are heavily sought after and why they're basically unicorns because that is outrageous. For a 15-year-old product, um, you know, the thing that most recently that I can think of that I've had that was a 15-year product was the the Pappy 15 year that I had, and this blows that away. This makes Pappy 15 look silly. You know, if you could get one of these, I'd rather have this than a Pappy 15. So there's that. I really, I honestly can't think of anything in my collection to compare it to, to pull down and, you know, and sample with it and compare it to, because this profile is so different than anything that I can think of in my collection, I could just start pulling down everything and, and taste it, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think anything's comparable to it that I have. You know, obviously another purple top would be comparable, but I don't have another one of those in the, in the collection right now. So, so this is its own own animal. I really don't even know what to compare it to, but it's it's magic. Wow! Thank you so much, Shelby. This is an experience. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Mmm. Why did I get burnt toast that time? Whoa. This thing just keeps changing now. Like spicy cherry? What the hell? Oh, this is one you gotta sit with for like an hour and just. So Burnt toast? Why? Why am I getting burnt toast now? If you have a dad, he probably liked his toast burnt, and it just brings back memories. 